What's going on guys? T Blake here along with Yo Ante. It looks like I'm a giant and he's shorter, <laughs> but it's sort of isn't that weird? Here I am. <laughs> um, Anthony, he split his channel for his vlogs and his sneaker channel. So if you haven't subbed to sneaker channel, it's the same exact content, just in a way that he can, you know, appropriate that stuff in the right direction for the people that are interested in vlogs, people that are interested in sneakers. That's enough talking. We're gonna do the same <laughs> format style question and answer. So get ready to learn a little bit more about Yo Ante. Let's do it. <laughs> Uh, my sneaker state of mind would probably be, you know, I want to buy shoes that are very wearable. You know, there are times where I'll go after a kick that is hyped or, you know, has a theme behind it and I don't necessarily even want to wear it. I more want to just like set it up and say like, oh, look at the colors or look at the theme. You know, the Nike SB Walk of Thames, like, I like that shoe for the theme. But I, I want to start going after shoes that are, are very wearable, shoes I can wear every day, match with a lot of outfits. You know, I'm not trying to look for outrageous colors or outrageously loud shoes. Like, I want to start getting back into, you know, shoes that go with an entire outfit. I, I, I enjoy the whole, like, fashion side of sneakers, uh, you know, things that are, are working, that are current styles that are in right now. So, uh, definitely trying to buy sneakers that are, are very wearable is big to me. So my most anticipated release for this year, as a lot of people know, I've been talking about it a lot, is the uh, the bread ones. Uh, I really wanted the royal ones, missed out. I had a chance to get them for retail too. It was a half size too big and I was like, I'll pass, I can get them on finish line because they had them on finish line, but little did I know they're insanely limited for some reason and no restock, resale prices are crazy, tons of fakes. So these bread ones, I'm hoping they're gonna be more produced it's just a classic, classic shoe. The Jordan 1 reminds me of like a Chuck Taylor high. Just, you can never go wrong with it. And, and black and red is just great. So the, the um, red ones, I'm really looking forward to those. All right guys, so today I have on the Team Red Roshi Runs. Don't know why they're called Team Red, because they're maroon. But I'm a huge fan of maroon. As you can tell, I've got a maroon shirt on, I've got a maroon hat on, maroon shoes. But yeah, the Roshi Runs, I mean, these shoes, it took me a while to, to grow. Thanks to T. Blake, he got me my first pair of Roshi Runs. And oh, yeah, ever true. since then, you know, the comfort, the, the light style, you know, I like the, the, the mesh material. I just really love uh, Roshi Runs. And this colorway is just perfect. So one of my favorite uh, pickups of the year. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoy. This is really fun. I always look forward to hanging out with Anthony. <laughs> He's a really good dude. A lot of people think about how people act like on YouTube and how they act in real life. He's exactly how you would expect him to be, which is a great compliment. Um, anything you want to say? Man. No, I appreciate all the hard work you're doing on YouTube. I hope I hope uh, everyone that watches is yeah. enjoying it as well. And, complex uh, list, maybe. <laughs> yeah, get, get T. Blake on complex next year. But uh, thanks to everyone that's, that, that watches the videos. It, it's, it means a lot to us both. Yeah. So. No, really, really does. And then if you want to see mine, it's on his sneaker channel. So I'll put that in the link uh, description so you guys can go over there and sub if you haven't. T. Blake signing out. See you guys soon. Peace. Peace.